So, another interesting question in the comments recently. Sir, I am born in a middle class family. Will I become a member of the elite class or will I remain middle class? <laughs> Indeed, it's a dream in this material world for every person in the middle class to be a member of the elite class, which they have been seeing from the childhood. It's like the dream life which every middle class desires. It may not be for all, but for 99.99% .99 at least. So, from the horoscope and the date of birth, can we identify, is this person going to be a member of the elite class? Well, we can't identify the classes. So, for example, we can't say if this person will be from a middle class uh, or rather from a lower middle class will go to upper middle class or we can't say if they will go from middle class to upper middle class or to a elite class or to the millionaire or billionaire uh, group. We can't say that directly. There is no dictum. But what we can do for sure is we can identify what will be the level of this person depending on the Deshkal Patra. So, for example, uh, if a person is studying and the person has started a job and if the person belongs to a lower middle class family, so we can say that the person will rise high or very high. No? So, by that, we can get an idea that maybe uh, this person is now lower middle class and there's a possibility the person may become middle class or higher middle class, upper middle class. Or maybe there's exceptional growth and then this person becomes a member of the elite class, right? Now, of course, this will depend on the country where you're living, the culture, uh, your family boundaries, your family values. Not just not just in absolute terms, but this is very relative because uh, if you go to uh, countries, you know, like India, then the definition of middle class is something else uh, compared to if you go to US, you know, then the middle class is something very different there. And if you go to countries like Monaco, where most of the world's billionaires live, so there if you are a middle class person, you are maybe a hundred or a thousand times more rich compared to somebody who is in India or in some other Asian country or from Africa, of course. So it will depend on so many factors. Okay, so you can't just answer this, oh, will I become elite? No, it, it will depend on so many factors. And most importantly, it depends on, of course, your horoscope. But even more than that, or rather equally, I would say, it depends on your dashas. So when you say you belong to middle class, so let's assume you are a member of the middle middle class, <laughs> which means you are neither a lower middle class, neither you are upper middle class. So let's assume you you uh, you will have a home, you know, reasonably decent house. You will have one car, or yeah, you'll have your parents. Then maybe one sibling, you know, like two two children in the house, and you will have reasonably good education. Uh, your parents will finance your education, but may not be that you have. A Mercedes or a BMW or an Audi. But yes, you have some car which is like, which you don't use every day, but you use it sometimes you know, in the weekends or whenever you go to have some fun with your family members when you are young. Then you use the car once in a week. You eat outside in some hotel or some restaurant. And once in, once in a year, maybe you might 
go to a three star or four star hotel you know once in six months something like that so that's that's like uh, the mid middle class right <laughs> and that's where most of us also belong to but now suppose there's one person who is in this category and the person has an exceptionally good horoscope and now i'll come to that what do i mean when i say good horoscope and along with that suppose the person uh, is now at the age of 20 or other 25 let's take 25 or you can also take 20 because nowadays you know people they are earning from a very young age you know i see teenagers becoming millionaires <laughs> so what to speak of 25 it's too late sometimes <laughs> But nonetheless, let's take 2025, 20, you know, 22, when the person completes uh, their bachelor's. So if you see from the age of 22, for at least 15 to 20 years, now, of course, you can also say five years is a great time <clears throat> for somebody to go from middle class, you know, to a elite class. Yes, indeed. Five years is also a good time. But it may not work for everybody, you know. So for most of the people who want to go from middle class to uh, higher uh, upper class, they will need, if if provided they are self-made, okay. Now, of course, self-made means uh, we are ignoring the assets of your parents. Uh, they, may give, they may give some help, but it's not like, you know, they've, uh, they, they have given you some, Two, three million dollars you know to start your business and then you say oh yeah but nonetheless uh, it just it does not depend on how much money your parents give it depends on how how much you multiply with it so let's assume uh, that the person has had some decent help from the family but not too much and it's not that the parents uh, have you know some big massive wealth you know like 10 crores or you know, so like whatever i mean then the person will need at, at the least, even if the person is doing a job or the person has a business or the person is self-employed, the person will need at least 15 to 20 years to go to the elite class, provided he does it by his own efforts. Now, of course, as I said, you can be there in five years, but these are exceptions. Okay. I am telling something which will work for 99% of the people who have made it in that category. So that means if along with a good horoscope, which we will discuss very soon, you also have a very strong Mahadasha for the next 15 to 20 years, then you can say that maybe by beginning of your 40s, late 30s, or mid 40s somewhere let's take 20 years 22 plus 20 42 years so somewhere in beginning of 40s maybe it's possible that you are not a middle class anymore you you are a member of the elite class it's possible or maybe the dashas are not that great but they're still very good enough so maybe then you might need 30 years so then it's not 42 it's 52 and as I said, if you are exceptionally good, I think the dashas are way beyond exceptional, then it can happen in five or ten years. You know, maybe by the time the person is 32, the person is like, Oh, I have such a big bungalow in my name, and I have this nice elite car, and you know, whatever I'm married and I have kids and everything's just perfect. That can also happen in some rare cases, but we don't see that happening for uh, out of 100, you will find one or two examples like that. But yeah, out of 100, you can find at least uh, 10 to 20 examples where you see people, by the time they are 45, you know, they have become very wealthy and prosperous by their self-efforts, even though they are from middle class family, right? And by the time they are 50s, uh, you can see like maybe 30, 40% of the people, right? No, it doesn't happen for everybody, of course. And maybe by 60s, you know, more than half of the people, you know, they might have, you know, changed uh, their class. And by 70s, maybe most of them do because <laughs> they spend their whole life earning, right? 
but we are not talking of people who do it in 10 years or 50 years these are i mean 50 years anybody can do it and 10 years not everybody does it so our our bracket our margin is somewhere 20 to 30 years so 40s is the decade okay so from 40 to 50 whoever makes it during this period so let's assume you know they might have these placements okay because that requires luck and it also requires hard work okay i mean both together to be precise right so what are some of the core conditions that we can see so one of them when we are talking of success we always have to analyze uh, the ascendant the ascendant is very important and the ascendant just does not just being strong in the lagna chart doesn't work so the ascendant of your lagna chart has to be strong in your lagna chart of course and it has to have some reasonably above average strength in the navamsha and in the dashamsha also why because navamsha gives you things from the past uh, like past lifetimes you know blessings of the past luck and all these things and the shamsha gives you skill and uh, competence so we need two things one is you know luck and we need competence and the lagna chart shows opportunities okay so imagine you have blessings from the past you have experience and you have competence you have knowledge and then you have opportunities when these three combine then there is very good success okay very good success again considering a 20 25 year time frame <clears throat> so the first factor is the lagna lord as i said then you have to see who is the karaka for these uh, the, these three factors as i said so who who is the who is the karaka for name fame power position and uh, success well we know it's the sun right so the sun should be reasonably well placed in the lagna chart and in the navamsha and in the dashamsha also now the problem is you will never find a horoscope where the lagna lord is well placed in the d1 d9 and d10 and along with that the sun is also well placed in the d1 d9 and d10 it won't happen like that the sun will show success the lagna lord will show efforts okay but again astrology is the science of practical behavior so there should be reasonable good strength it doesn't mean you know it has or it doesn't mean the lagna lord has to be exalted in d1 d9 d10 and the sun also has to be in aries you know in exaltation d1 d9 d10 no it doesn't mean that <clears throat> but it means that these two planets has to have reasonably good strength in these three uh, three charts then we have the other karaka which is Mercury. Mercury is the Karaka for skill. So Mercury also should be reasonably well placed in these three charts in D1, D9 and D10. And of course, we also have uh, Shani Maharaj, Saturn, because Saturn is the Karaka for the Dasamsha chart, right? Is the Atma Karaka, sorry. So Saturn has to be also relatively uh, strong in these three charts. Now, is it possible that all the three planets i mean the lagna lord sun mercury saturn they will be you know very reasonably well placed you know in all these three charts does it do you think it's possible well absolutely not it's not possible because if it was then uh, <laughs> the person would be very successful right so it doesn't work like that but you have to see who is strong where and who is not strong where who is weak where right so, for example, if Saturn is, so if you see the Lagna Lord, Sun and Mercury are reasonably well placed in these three charts. But if you see Saturn is not well placed, then you suggest the client that, uh, my dear sir, my dear madam, you have to work a bit on your discipline. If Surya is not well placed, then you have to work a bit on your confidence, you have to work on your vision, you have to work on your purpose, you have to work on your goal, you have to work on your commitment, right? 
and if market is not well placed well uh, you need to learn and skill up right go to the next level uh, become more skillful be so good that nobody can ignore you <clears throat> And if the Lagna Lord is not strong, then you have to tell the person that you you are not you you are lacking that commitment which is required to go through whatever it takes in life. So again, I am saying you won't find all these things together. You will never find it. Okay, but our job as an astrologer is to find out what is lacking so that the person can become successful and go to the next level. So, once you see these four planets, then you have to see some certain uh, crucial parameters. Like you have to see the strength of the 10th Lord of the Lagna chart. So, the 10th Lord, if it has connections with the Lagna or the 5th or the 11th or the 10th itself, which means if the 10th Lord is in Lagna, 10th Lord is in 5th, 10th Lord is in 10th or 10th Lord is in the 11th or even the 9th or the 10th Lord is in 9th, then this is like next level. This Because the 10th Lord shows the external periphery of success which you will have, right? So, then we, we need to check the 10th Lord. How strong is the 10th Lord? Okay. Because the tenth lord will tell you why will you be famous in life. Okay, so the tenth lord is very important. Then step number three, you need to check the planets in the tenth house. So if the planets in the tenth house are strong, like for example, Mars is in tenth, so it's in Digbal, depending on the sign also. So it should not be that uh, Mars is in you know some enemy sign. Okay, or in debility in the 10th house, it should not be. <clears throat> so if you have strong planets like Sun, Mars in the 10th house, this will add because then that shows, you know, you, you, you like authority and you are a very good leader. That can show that. It shows fire, Agni, Tattva, right, which is power, basically. <clears throat> so when you see planets in the 10th house, what do you see after that? After that, of course, you want to see last two things one is the moon why the moon because the moon will tell you if at all you can be happy with the life that you have imagine a person has all this whatever we discussed everything imagine everything is great but the moon is terrible then what does it mean it means the person will waste all money in addictions because the person is not happy for some reason and then even if the person has all these things, the person will still feel, oh, yeah, I'm a beggar, you know, I have nothing in life. Look, he has so much. Look, she has so much, right? So the moon is very important. And once you see the moon, then you got to see a very important planet, which is Jupiter. Why Jupiter? Because <clears throat> Jupiter is the karaka for growth and expansion. Because when when you have money sometimes we feel oh we are very successful but jupiter shows holistic growth you know which means we are becoming happier as a person we are becoming more spiritually enlightened we are becoming materially more influential we have good contacts you know things happen easily it's like luck is there on your side right he's the karaka for the fifth ninth and eleventh for god's sake right so if all these things are there, but there is no Jupiter in the chart, which means Jupiter is not that great. Then it means overall development is not happening. There is the holistic development is missing. You know, so for example, if Venus is very good, the person may have a very attractive spouse or the person may have a very attractive house or a very attractive car or a lot of luxuries. But uh, it doesn't mean that the person will be happy necessarily with all this. But if Jupiter is strong, then in general, overall, the person is liked and, you know, there is admiration, you get awards, recognitions and all these things. <clears throat> so Jupiter is very important in the chart. Now you have seen this and now you see the dashas. Are the dashas also indicating something similar? So, for example, if you have a placement like uh, your 
suppose your saturn is in the 10th house and it's in a reasonably decent sign and you have all these placements or most of them and your saturn is reasonably well placed in d9 and d10 also now your saturn dasha starts at the age of 19 what happened uh, I, I mean at the age of 22 as we decided 22 the magic number right so then till the age of 41 you are having this mahadasha now imagine after that you have mercury mahadasha which is again maybe in the 11th house fantastic wow great so then from 41 another 17 years right how much is it 58 so just imagine what kind of a rise this person will have now of course anybody can have saturn in 10th and get the dasha of saturn at the age of 22 but does it mean they will have a massive success well not necessarily only if the other things are there and that's the problem with uh, people and especially in youtube unfortunately many people they will not see the whole video. They will not see the entire video. They will just skim through, you know, like, oh, ye bhi dekhta hon, wo bhi dekhta hon, se dekhta hon, se dekhta hon. Why I'm saying this? Because, of course, it's been almost six years since I've been making videos. But recently, I think it's yesterday, uh, the video which I made. So there I said about uh, having seven in your date of birth. It gives you luck. So somebody said, oh, you, you you are speaking false because the number four is the number of uh, bad luck or something. And in the entire video, there was not a single moment I had mentioned four, right? It was only about seven. So how does a person think that I spoke four? It means the person was either not attentive or maybe the person was having a bad audio quality or something like that. But even then, I spoke the number so many times, right? Number seven, I spoke maybe 20, 25 times in the video. So how can a person say that I spoke the number four, right? So it, it, it's very weird because people, sometimes they don't uh, listen to the videos properly and then they are very quick to jump to conclusions. <laughs> so these are some of the placements and conjunctions and dashas if you have... <laughs> then you can predict for somebody that this person will go to the next tier. Okay. But again, this will be very subjective, you know, to the play, time, place, circumstances. And there are a lot of things, you know, inheritance is there and sometimes somebody gets some lottery or suddenly, you know, there is a bad dasha and then everything collapses, you know. So it's very subjective. It's very... Uh, dependent on individual horoscopes so therefore just you see this video and you uh, see certain things and you see the dashas and you say oh yeah yeah you'll be you are the next millionaire in your 40s well maybe uh, but maybe not okay and just remember one thing this video the points that i mentioned this is based this is for somebody who wants to be self-made it's like you have reasonable uh, help from your parents and then everything else is yours, okay? That will be all from my side, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for your patience. If you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below and my website for consultations is also down below. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him irrespective of which class you belong to. Thank you very much.